Tonight, he's gonna get... our travel guides hit one of Australia's most popular overseas holiday spots. Oh, no, OK. Bali. But can they avoid the bogans and bintang? I'm happy to be a yobo. To find a real island paradise? Oh. How do we look? <laughs> it's a journey of the mind. Yeah. Body. Detox dinner? We do not detox. It was like licking a lawnmower. And spirit. I don't think you bow. Oh, just... We put their travel bill... <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. ..in return for reviews that tell us exactly what they think. Just calm. I, I, how can I be calm? It's the Freddy Krueger of holidays. More than one million Aussies visit Bali for its sun, surf, sates and shopping, making it our number one holiday spot in Asia. But is Indonesia's island of the gods now just an island of bogans? Can't touch it. Our love for Bali means there are now direct flights from nine Australian cities. Still, it's an exotic mystery for some, like Outback twins Stack and Mel. What kind of language do you speak? The Balinese. Yeah. yeah so you know uh, the Balinese, yeah? Bali-English. Balinese. Bali-English. Balinese. Balinese. Yeah. Stack and I have never been to Bali before. We really had no expectations. We didn't really know anything about Bali. Indonesian language. Indonesian language. Yeah. So it's like Bolognese. It's not the lingo that's getting the friend family from Newcastle in a lather. We don't do heat well. I've never wanted to come to Bali. I think of Bali as Kuta Beach, nightclubs, young people. I think Bali's known as the total bargain holiday. Mm. Cheap and nasty. You know my biggest concern? My IBS meets BB. What's BB? Bali belly. Oh, God. Cos I've got a bit of a bowel syndrome kind of thing happening down here. <laughs> so it's, it's not going to be pretty. We've been here many, many times. In wow. fact, this is our third time. Third time. Third, third time this year. This year. Oh, this year. This yeah. year. Oh, we love Bali. <laughs> the island's high-end resorts keep drawing seasoned travellers, Kevin and Janetta, back to Bali. Look, it gets a bad rap, but I know all that stuff goes on, all the sex, drugs, rock and roll. Sure, but you don't have to be amongst it. We no longer get tattoos, hire motorbikes. We never got tattoos. Get drunk after midnight. <laughs> well, you had your hair braided here once, remember? Remember that little bit at the front? <laughs> and you had beads in it. Beads and braids are off the agenda when our guides are starting their holiday at one of Bali's shushiest hotels. The Villas at Ayana Resort. Oh, this looks I'm very liking, yeah. nice. Set behind a private beach in Jimbaran, every super swanky pool villa is the size of a house. A big house. But will this be the ultimate girls' holiday for Melbourne besties Tash and Mads? Welcome to the villa. Oh. <laughs> Phenomenal. Oh, I'm I, I, <laughs> Honestly, I've dreamed of this. My mouth touched the floor. Oh, oh. I was speechless. Like, you can't even find the words that will describe how perfect it looks. I've watched the Kardashians. This is what they get, not us. It is next level for movie stars. Whoa, that is a sexy bathtub. Oh. Ayana's world of ginormous marble bathrooms and magic toilets. Whoa! This is straight out of Alien. Is Alien territory for budget travellers Kev, Dorian and Ting. Our first impressions were heaps different than what we were expecting. Like, we thought there'll be beer, beach, babes and bogans. Kind of like a sad rip-off of schoolies on the Gold Coast. This is luxury, bro. Oh. All right, good night, boys. Oh, oh yes. Oh, 
doing a sprint. We're doing a no yeah. bike the other good. way. Oh. No. We never thought we'd get treated so lavishly. Oh. We all met working together at Target a couple years back. We used to like tiny little crammed rooms, like 15 beds. This villa was like the best like boys bachelor pad. I take this down, mm. I put my mama up. Mama. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and then that's my pad done. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think I'm gonna have to eat my words. <laughs> Who thought Bali had that to offer? I didn't. This is as good as it gets. All the different pillows that you can order. Ooh. <laughs> we were home. It was just pure luxury. It home? Was... We don't have anything <laughs> like that. The luxury's so out of control that every posh villa comes with its very own butler. Oh, welcome. Thank you. I don't think you bow. Oh, just... Uh, yeah. I will be your butler. Butler? Yeah. Personal butler? Yes. A butler. So Jonathan had the week off, which was good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Agus. I'm your butler. OK. What's cool. a butler? I've got no idea what's a butler. So here's your mini bar. Perfect. Oh, wow. Thank you. Can oh, I open it for you? Oh, I do open it. Oh, wow. I know. Season. Pro. <laughs> they do everything. Absolutely everything. Would Same. you like me to unpack for you? Unpack our stuff? Yeah. No, thanks. No, thanks. Whoa. No, thanks. I can pack my own jocks. Yeah. To have your own butler. Jeez, you must be lazy. There could be some ironing that we might need doing. Certainly. Something. Let me do everything for you. We don't have a butler at home, you might be surprised to know. It is something you could get used to, actually. We love this guy. Absolutely. We need you on every holiday. You can come with us. We love to pick on places and we find do. fault. But we can't find fault with Ayana. We love it. This is beautiful. Wow. Look how the towels are folded, standing yeah. up. Yeah. Attention. It's all those little touches. That's Ay the level we aim for. Ayana is the most luxurious property we've ever stayed at in Bali. Butler 24-7. You ring him up 3 o'clock in the morning going, hey, mate, I need another beer. I want to hold my hair back while I spew. <laughs> Even with that sort of service, are the villas worth 950 bucks a night? Well, I just brought four head of cattle this morning for 800 bucks, so $950 just on a room is ridiculous. Oh, this is like... A honeymoon. It is pricey, but I'd pay it. Try it out and just enjoy it. Oh, our second honeymoon. How beautiful is it? Oh, how nice is this? Hello. Oh, are you kidding me? Have you got clothes on? <laughs> this is what you do when you're in Bali. You relax. Oh, I, that's just about done me. <laughs> What's worse than daughter in the pool? Mother and daughter in the pool. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm just glad your mother didn't come. <laughs> the good old tsunami. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Not far from Ayana, the Uluwatu Temple is one of the most spectacular Hindu sites in Bali. Cover that midriff. Hello, thank you. Visitors are welcome to mix with local worshippers at this thousand-year-old temple, so long as they don't flash too much flesh. We can't go further until we rock the sarongs as a sign of respect for the temple. All right. I was mad excited to go to a temple in Bali because, like, we've always talked about how you want that cultural yep. experience when you go somewhere, mm. and we didn't think we'd get that in Bali. Mine's just falling apart. If you kind of, like, waddle, yeah. <laughs> See, that's why people should know if you're coming to a sacred site, you just wear long pants. Yeah, and, and if you wear long probably, pants, then you, you have don't to have to wear those... purple and orange. The only thing I'm worried about is how far we have to walk because normally temples are on the top of a hill. My family doesn't do temples. Yeah. All I think about is steps. I'm bloody past. I don't know about you guys. I've got so much sweat dripping off me, I can't see the view. The lack of escalators isn't the only thing to worry about. Oh, and he's gonna get... Sid, watch your sunny! Not when the local monkey mafia are running a sunny snatching scam. Yeah, hang on to your stuff, because they can be they, pretty mischievous. Uh, they can. I don't really know anything about monkeys, Mel. No, I'm thieves. If monkeys could go to jail, it'd be full of monkeys. 
heathen little things. Beep. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. And now he's thirsty. He says thanks, oh. thanks for the drink. Oh, he's just going to punch a hole in it, is he? They drink their water stack like you drink your beer. Hey, mm. hey, I wouldn't waste that much. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pet the monkeys? I would. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I thought they were, like, the, like, just friendly house cats. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> They're not like the Kung Fu Panda monkeys. I didn't even think that. They're wild <laughs> monkeys. They're like Planet of the... Have you ever seen Planet of the Apes? <laughs> yeah, like Planet... Well, I know that now. <laughs> There's monkeys there! <laughs> Whoa! These monkeys were feral. They were frightening. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, my God! I was so scared that... Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Please <laughs> I grabbed a woman, a random stranger, <laughs> as a shield, as a human shield. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. It was hilarious. No, it was embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uluwatu temples meant to help protect Bali from evil spirits. Pretty breathtaking, isn't it? I'm digging it. But nothing will protect you from the other tourists at sunset. We've seen sunsets all over the world. Oh, I wish I could see this one. Bloody tourists. <laughs> we were just standing there watching the sunset. All of a sudden, this bunch of people stood right in front of us and stole our sunset. Oh. All of a sudden, there's... Look at selfies. Selfies! Selfie heaven! Oh. Why does everyone have to be in every single photo they take? <laughs> that is a beautiful view, man. Oh, you know, I've, got about... a, I've got a good view right now. What an incredible view. Kev is smooth. <laughs> Kev is very smooth. Kev's the Michael Bublé of picking up. He's <laughs> so smooth. Time to make new friends. And I'm feeling good. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at oh, my jaws. Send, send, that, send that to us. Fire. Send that to us. Yeah. What are you guys' numbers? <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the first time he's ever approached anyone outside of swiping. <laughs> what will happen when our travel guides say goodbye to the lap of luxury? Oh, yeah, I like that. And hello to a hardcore detox. Detox dinner, salad, tofu, kale. And what will they rate their barley holiday? Uh, how can I be calm? Out of five stars. You always say you don't go on holidays to save money or lose weight. Exactly. <laughs> On a week-long resort holiday in Bali... Where the hell are we going? It's a cave. Our travel guides have temporarily left their luxury bubble to hit the beach. So we're in the rich and famous side of Bali and then we thought we'd better go to the real Bali. Down the road from Ayana, the chilled-out Padang Padang Beach may be hidden away. I didn't know we were going to picnic at Hanging Rock. I know. <laughs> But the perfect waves attract plenty of serious surfers and anyone up for a perv. It's very popular, isn't it? There's tourists everywhere. A lot of um, German tourists that aren't bad to look at. Hot German tourists. Oh, look at them. He looks like Fabio. <laughs> he does. Look at his beautiful hair slicked back. Oh, he's stunning. Get the girlfriend away. Maybe it's his sister. Maybe. She's a bit far. I wouldn't say that yeah, far she away. She is from standing him. far away. I'll from be him. on his back. <laughs> 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 you know what we have to do? We have to go out buy some bin tang singlets. Yes. Everyone, everyone wears them. And then them. everyone knows you've been to Bali. Yes. Jonathan and Mark have never worn a singlet in their life in public. No. But we made them. Look, it loose. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, yes. <laughs> Technically, people that wear Bing Tang singlets are known as yobbos. We need four. But, I mean, I'm happy to be a yobbo because I absolutely love my Bing Tang and I'll be wearing it home. We certainly were working it, weren't we? We were.
The Yobbo reputation has really stuck to one Bali beach in particular, Kuta. I'm gonna pop some tags, I got $20 in my pocket. The traffic's out of control. What a nightmare. Kuta's full-on chaos, the traffic, touts, bars and budget hotels means it's a long way from the surfer's nirvana it used to be. <laughs> First impressions of Kuta, it is flat out, it is so busy. Just before the rain hits, all the ants scatter out of the ant hill. That's Kuta. Mayhem, it's Bali Tash, what do you expect? I know, <laughs> but this is the Bali I wanted to visit. The cheap side of Bali. The whole family's on the scooters. I know. There's motorbikes everywhere. There's people everywhere. There's market stores set up everywhere. Dogs, cats. Yeah, the feral animals. Chickens. Well, you've got finally here. I know. Kuda is crazy, definitely. Where's, okay. where's all the parties? We were keen to see Kuda. Super keen to see Kuda. Beach, babes, and beer. That's, that's what Kuda's known for. Oh, do you want to get a drink? I'll hit a drink, yeah. Hello, you're selling tattoos? Yeah. Yeah, no, I think we're pretty right for tattoos. The vendors are part of life in Bali. If you buy something from one, then you'll have a swarm of others coming to you. No, we're right for nail art at the moment. No, no, no we're no, right. You just got to... This is where the inexperienced person gets fleeced. The Bali virgins who come up here, never been to Bali before, they are going to get ripped off. Oh, two dollars for one. That's nothing. Kevin will buy seven. I will buy a hundred. All of a sudden, we just got swarmed. Oh, <laughs> oh so much beads. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. It was it was insane. Well, you guys wanted to meet women in Bali. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a real problem with being touched. Like the boys know. Do not touch me. It's, it's not the time. It's not the time. Kevin loves his personal space. I, I, I'm getting double. I'm getting a double <laughs> massage. He looked like I don't even know how it happened. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Yeah, I can see you. Oh! And then all of a sudden, this necklace is around my neck. Mm -hmm. That was ten bucks. <laughs> Dwayne paid two for his. I reckon those ladies earn more than what we do in Target. They would. Yeah. I came in with $100 and two minutes of sitting on the beach and it's gone. <laughs> we legit just got robbed. Well, we didn't get robbed though. Like, we, we got, got robbed. We, you, we, we paid 10 bucks for the massage per person. But we all... So I had like three ladies on me. I had to pay them 10 <laughs> bucks each. So angry. Oh, it was... So we got to get off this beach. Yeah, let's, let's, get, let's go before let's we just get off. We need to go to a bank. Worst thing about it is when you come to places like this, you always buy stuff that you don't want. In the back streets of Kuta, the friends are determined to take home a value for money souvenir. A family portrait in traditional Balinese costume. Oh, that's a good family photo. Yeah, I like that one. When Mark and Jonathan came out in their traditional Balinese menwear. Be nice. I reckon you guys rocked it. Ready, girls? How do we look? <laughs> <laughs> I lose the shoes. When we all walked out, I thought we were at Newcastle version of the King and I. <laughs> yes, that's what we look like. <laughs> you ready? Okay, good. One, two. Ah, so now we change pose, okay? One, two. Not too much. <laughs> okay, good. I know I look good. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were king in the castle. You look like your mother and your gut kept sticking out. <laughs> it's not a great look. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> One, two. <laughs> okay, you're good. <laughs> The photo was a huge success. It was a hit. One more, one, two. That was the best thing, and you know what? We'll look back on that, and that'll be the best memory of Bali. Thank, Thank you. you. Still to come, to cry. is this really the land of eat, pray, love? Single, ready for love. <laughs> or has Bali just been loved to death? Kill me now.
Our travel guides have one week to decide if there's a Bali holiday to suit everyone. Oh, this is better than Melbourne. For the moment, they're getting a taste of five-star living at the ultra-plush villas at Ayana Resort. Getting spoiled or what? And the luxury starts early. Enjoy your breakfast in paradise. With a three-course champagne breakfast floating in your own private pool. How oh, really amazing this is. Hello, oh, the food. Oh, wow. Is that champagne? Yep. You want to have a glass? Who drinks champagne for breakfast? Cheers. Cheers. This is seriously nice. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful brunch and a glass of French champagne, but it's very difficult to actually yeah. eat it. Where am I going to put my legs? <laughs> that's, that's what happens with daybeds. It's hard work. You, you're lying down on the, this uncomfortable daybed. Oh, careful. Lying Hang on. Oh, through. sugar. At $140 per person for the floating brunch, I would not recommend it to anyone. Absolute waste of money. Best breakfast I've ever had in my whole entire life. Yeah. We're just gonna start acting like ladies. Get cute. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Me fork falls in the pool. Oh, how deep does it want to be? You know the best thing about it is you're actually gonna have to dive and get it. <laughs> See, this is just what happens when you try and be ladylike. Just doesn't happen. <laughs> just cannot be a lady. <laughs> I've let go. I've let go. You know what? Now you got to let him back down there. I knew I knew it. <laughs> At Ayana's spa, relaxation gets the lux treatment as well. In the aquatonic pool. Aquatonic? What does that even mean? Apparently, a good blasting with high-pressure seawater improves your metabolism. What the Target boys really want is a miracle. I'm going to jump in a chubby Asian. I'm going to rise from the water like a Greek god. <laughs> we thought we'd walk in as three chubby Asian men and walk out, like, as the three Hemsworths. Sponsor! <laughs> Obviously, I'd be Chris, cos... Chris. I'd you'd be, be Liam, cos you're, you're sort of, like, second-rate to Tang. Did you just make oh, yourself... No. I am the Hemsworth that, like, no, everyone ignores. Oh, I didn't want to oh, exercise yeah. this morning. <laughs> The first thing that hit us was this massive gush, like this massive current. Oh, this isn't therapeutic at all. We didn't know it was exercise. <laughs> I thought this was relaxation. Walking against the current in the aquatonic pool. Well, I nearly drowned. <laughs> Hurry up. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stationary. We really don't like any physical activities when we go on holidays. No, holidays are definitely for relaxing. Oh, yeah, I like that. The jets were all, like, strong but weirdly pleasuring. <laughs> oh, the most pleasuring thing so far. Oh, it's like turn sideways. I like it, turn sideways. Oh, oh, oh yeah. This feels right, this feels right. Oh. It was awesome. Definitely would recommend it. Oh. You come out feeling really good. The best place to rock your new board is the resort spectacular rock bar. I feel like I'm on a catwalk, Matt. Forget the bin tank singlet. Hello. Hello. This joint has a strict dress code to keep out the riffraff. Apparently one of the most famous bars really? in the world, yeah. The only one that suits it is Pablo Escobar over here. I think so, yeah. Look at it. <laughs> there could be some groups of single guys. I just can't see it. Usually you can pick it, you can smell it. It's my sixth sense. Single travellers Tash and Mads are looking for more than a mojito. Single, ready for love. <laughs> That's our slogan, Tash. No. <laughs> It will pick up here. We're... You'll pick up here. Yeah, it couldn't get better than this. The best thing about this place, you can just chuck over to Rowling. It was the coolest bar we've ever seen. And we usually hit, like, my backyard or something. <laughs> oh, Cocktails were mental. But $20 drinks are a bit too out of our price range. We could buy six goon sacks with this. This is our ginger berry teeny. Wonderful. Ginger berry teeny. Yeah. We like anything that ends with teeny. 
It's beautiful. It is so nice having a drink at a bar, isn't it, on the water? We just love classy bars. We've been to Ayana Rock Bar before. You know, we know our bars, and Ayana is right up there. It's one of the world's greatest bars. I think they might have dress standards too. Well, I hope so. I mean, I, I have no problem with bars imposing dress standards. No. Why they have to have a dress code is beyond me. I'm not digging this dress code. Did you get the boys' shirts on special or something? <laughs> Why are they wearing the same shirt? Well, I mean, that's just embarrassing. Well, we're in a hurry. <laughs> it's not a great look. Well, if you weren't so lazy and got our butler to do the ironing instead of you doing it, you would have known that the shirts were similar. And they are different colours. They are different See, shades. they are different shades. Anyway, regardless, we look good, Jonathan. Oh, it's really your... OK, thing. I look good. <laughs> <laughs> Next... Oh, it was like licking a lawnmower. Will a change in resort... I can't do it, I'm going to vomit. Rub our guides up the wrong way. <laughs> you got to earn to touch this. <laughs> Halfway through their Bali holiday, our guides have traded the beach for the jungle. Look at this in the middle of oh freaking God. Jumanji. This is this incredible. Is completely this is different. Incredible. They've landed an hour north in Ubud, the island's cultural heart, for a serious dose of clean living. Well, I don't know about you, but Bali is certainly full of surprises. This place was paradise. So who would have thought they would have had this in Bali? Like, it's completely different from where we came from. Surprise, surprise. That's not the biggest surprise of their new digs at Bagus Jati Health and Wellbeing Retreat with its traditional style luxury villas. Yeah. We've slaved away in Target for too long. This is what we deserve and I'm not leaving. For the next three days, our guides will get a whole new way of living. I just have cause for concern. Whether they like it or not. Good afternoon. Welcome to Bagus Jati Health and Wellbeing Retreat. How's the wellbeing? Yeah. Is this a wellness retreat? Yes, that's correct. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's so that's awesome. I know. This is, what this I is your middle name, House Retreat. I was stoked. I'm excited. Yeah. I've wanted to do this for ages. These retreats are very Kardashian. It's all over Instagram, and we're just doing it at the five, the best place you can. Thank you. That is lemongrass. So, is this what we'll be drinking? Yes. <clears throat> <laughs> what? What the? Being at a health and wellbeing retreat, I mean, we are at a place. My family loves buffets. <laughs> Jesus. Cheers healthy, healthy and, and well-being. Well no, health and well-being. Well okay. mm. Ginger. Yeah. <laughs> it was like I was in a bad nightmare and I couldn't wake up. <laughs> Do you have a Diet Coke machine? Well, this is a bit flash, or what? Isn't it? Our travellers will be doing Bagus Jati's detox program. What are you looking for? Oh, Miniba. Miniba. Of course, a detox means no booze. What? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? <laughs> it's a leaf and dried up lime. Who has a mini bar with no chocolate bars, no whiskey, or no beer? Not understanding the dry mini bar. Well, there's a book right? in it. it. Might have something in it. No bintang. No Barbies. Oh, no. Every meal will be organic, raw and vegan. Detox dinner? Uh-oh. There is no meat on here. You're kidding. Fresh juices, fresh fruits, salad, gluten-free mm. muesli, coconut water. Who does that? I'm going to have to go out in the jungle and find myself a beast to eat. We are cowgirls, we eat meat. We are not rabbits. We do not bounce around a field eating lettuce. Oh, the schedule's great. You will feel light after it. Because yeah, we don't eat anything. No, it'll be great. We're detoxing for three days. That's a good detox. Celebrities Solid amount that. of time. Yeah, the Kardashians do it all the time. Yeah. Doing a detox on holiday is incredible. You're rejuvenated. When you get home, You've probably lost weight. Yeah. This will be good for us. It is good for us. Yeah. I'm not I'm not detoxing. I'm not detoxing, uh, I'm Uber eating. Five, five. I, I can't do it. No service! I didn't know what a detox was before this. 
Oh, it's basically, you know, starvation. Half-day juice fasting. No. <laughs> we do not detox at all. So we're going to survive this week? But we made a pact that we would stick to it. For as long as we could. We wanted to see what this detox would do. Kill me now. You go on holidays to live a little. You know, to have a few too many drinks, to eat some bad food. You always say you don't go on holidays to save money or lose weight. Exactly. Tofu, kale, just lemon water. Just, just calm. I, no, I, how can I be calm? It's the Freddy Krueger of holidays. What have we got in our bags? I've got two beers and a bar of chocolate. Your vodka? We drank the vodka last night. Damn. I think you've got to give it a go. I have to eat this compost. It, this was not going to end well for us as a couple. Well-being. The detox retreat is supposed to reduce stress. So oh, this is your mixed organic garden salad. But for some, a four-course plant-based breakfast... That's green juice. Why? <laughs> ..doesn't exactly bring on a zen-like calm. Oh, shit. The green juice was disgusting. It was a slime from the bottom of a pond. Seriously, it tastes like lawn. I can't do that. It was like licking a lawnmower. It was... On a wet day. Terrible. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm going to vomit. I'm so hungry, I'll just eat anything. I just want to cry. Oh, it's delicious. It is nice. Raw breakfast, it was amazing. I used to be like, why would people come overseas to try and get healthy? But I get it now. But at home you have distractions. Yeah, all so... we're focusing on here is the detox. Mm. We're going to feel great after this. You know what, I think if we stick it out, we'll, we might feel really good <laughs> at the end. Shut up, Dory. <laughs> <laughs> It might be proven then this could actually be good for us and help us live longer. I don't want to live long if I have to eat this sort of crap. <gasps> Seriously, I don't. Kevin can be very frustrating with his um, closed-mindedness. not closed-minded, I just know what I want and I know what I don't want and I don't want to be detoxified. I am not toxic. I wonder what the doily tastes like. In Bali, our travel guides are cleansing body and soul at a five-star wellness retreat. Their detox program involves daily meditation and yoga. Lower your chest. But for some, the downward dog is just a big downer. I've never done yoga before. I have never had a desire to do yoga. And if I hadn't have been in that room, I would never... I would have gone through my entire life without having ever done yoga. Isn't that sad? And, well, it's not sad at all. It's, there's some things you just don't need. I don't need yoga. No plum this <laughs> oh. Yoga is a great, fun activity to do. But I even got a sweat just Fun. doing a little bit of activity. It was like torture. Inhale, raise your hand up. Inhale, your body up. Or if your body ready for come. Look at Jono go. I do yoga once a fortnight back in Newcastle, and I love it. Detox and yoga going hand in hand. Great. Namaste. Keep your spine straight. Focus on in one object. Rise up your chest and then lock. Lock. <laughs> I can do it. I'm the most flexible out of the family. I was so hungry during that yoga. That's why I think I, could, I wasn't as good as what I normally am. Can't do it then. A bunch of spa treatments are included in the detox retreat. Are you feeling comfortable? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Always. But can Stack and Mel handle the hands-on experience of their first ever full-body massage? 
One too high. <laughs> what I don't like about massages is some random person rubbing their hands all over your body. Mm -mm. You gotta earn to touch this. Uh, relax your body, please. All right. Okay. We're trying to enjoy the massage. We are trying to enjoy it. But we can't enjoy it because it's just so awkward. She's gonna rub my boobs. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Just find it a little bit hard to relax when I have a lady rubbing my chest. <laughs> Maybe there's more serenity to be found in the five hectares of gardens and lush tropical rainforest. This is incredible. Look how beautiful this is. Look at this waterfall. We have to be fair to this resort because it is absolutely beautiful gardens. Look, look back through there. Uh -huh. Facing a jungle, the staff are magnificent. Perfect. Um... The room is incredible. We love everything about it except for that connotation of health and well-being. Mm. I feel like I'm transcending yeah. on this diet in this beautiful place. I'm actually transcending. <laughs> After a couple of days of the detox, we were actually feeling better. <laughs> Oh, so much more energetic. <laughs> I think that um, Dorian may have some Asian genes in him that luckily me and Kev did not inherit. Nice. Right there. <laughs> On the final day of their detox program, our travellers have escaped the retreat to visit Ubud Town. I'm starving. This cowgirl does not detox and I'm going to break all the rules. Stack and Mel are done with going cold turkey. Let's just go into here, eh? Yeah, look at it, pig. They want meat and lots of it. I will never detox in my life again. No. The only time I'm going to be detoxing is when I'm in the coffin and the worms are eating my body. Can we please get pig? Yes. They're about to ditch the detox for Bubby Ghouling, Balinese roast suckling pig. This one is special, but in this one. Thank you. Oh, oh damn, it oh, looks Jesus. beautiful. You know what? Mel and I are going to smash the biggest piece of pork out. Oh, I mm. think it's got spice in it. Ooh, that's spicy. It's really hot. What? Oh, no. <gasps> I cannot do chilli. That's all right, just scrape all that off. See, the red's are chilli. I'll have to have the meat. We're eating it. We didn't care. It was so good just to get the meat back into our bodies. It's going down the hatch. Oh, that looks so amazing. Oh, my God. But Tash and Mads are determined to stick with the program. This detox just makes you feel like a new person. And light. The detox diet was very similar to being on bowel prep for a colonoscopy. You flush yourself out. I feel amazing. I feel better than when we left. That's what a detox is. It cleanses you, cleans you out, and I'm ready to go. Book me in for a scope tomorrow. <laughs> Seriously, I'm that clean. You won't miss anything. Are you taking anything away, Victoria? I'll never eat salad ever again after this <laughs> detox. It was seriously like BB meets burning ring of fire. Oh. <laughs> I think I came away with 14 pairs of undies. I'll be lucky to take three out. <laughs> Just normal ice cream, not vegan ice cream. Mm -hmm. Lovely. It's great being out of rehab. For retirees Kevin and Janetta, food is about sixth priority. Are you going to have a beer or something a bit more exciting? I'm having a beer, a wine, a cocktail, a whiskey, probably a martini. Uh... At this time of the afternoon? Yeah. Good. As soon as I walked into the bar, I knew I was going to go from detox to retox. Cheers. I gotta say, it was satisfying to break the detox, even though we I won. done it. What? You said it was satisfying to break the detox. Oh, toxins, I've mixed you. Next, <laughs> how will our guides rate barley? You need your sports bra. Out of five stars. I can absolutely see what all the talk about barley is. You can have 20 different holidays. A lot of the time, people only experience one. On their last day in Bali, 
our guides are heading outside Ubud to visit a traditional family home in a nearby village. Hey, this is very cool. Beautiful. This is nice. I love bikes, man. Best way to see a place. So what will they rate their holiday out of five stars? Oh, look how good it is up here. And is this the closest they'll come to the authentic barley? This is like the true, this is barley, barley. It is. You feel like you're right in the middle of it. You can definitely still find an authentic experience in barley. It's like barley has so many different barleys. Like you can go to the beach barley, the kuda barley, the ubud barley, the cultural barley. Like there's so many different types of barleys to experience. And a lot of the time people only experience one. Bill coming up. All right. Yeah, I know, it's a bit oh bumpy. Oh my God. Oh, you need your sports bra. I think barley has really shown us that as travellers, we can be naive. It's known as the cheap holiday, but I mean, clearly we've been shown that you can have the beautiful luxury holiday. Is there a shortcut? Are you guys hungry? I know I'm starving. I mean, we've got all this rice and there's not one Chinese restaurant <laughs> in sight. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Okay, all right, all right, I'm going. Oh. What's wrong? I I'm just think I'm going to fall in. Well, the travel insurance should cover us. I suppose we've been to Bali. Probably been here about 15 times. I mean, Bali's so close for Australians. It's close, but it's far enough away to be exotic and different from our culture. Hello. We're going to walk for a bit. Yeah. I would sum up this trip as new experiences. Some of the activities were very dubious and stuff that we would never do, some that we would do again. And I do want to go back through those rice paddy fields. And walk it, yes. It is lovely walking through it. Yeah, it would have been nice just to walk through without these stupid bikes. Yay! <laughs> it's unreal, isn't it? We weren't really expecting anything from Bali. Good to see how the other side of the world works. It's close to home, the weather's nice and tropical, you'll never be cold. It's a great holiday. And where are we? We are in the Hindu family compound. Really? The Hindu family compound. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello. Oh, is this for us? Beautiful. Oh, in this holiday, Ayana was perfect the first half, but the second half was a total waste of a good resort. I'm thinking three stars because I can't get that detox thing away from my mm. mind. Oh, well, I'm thinking four, so... So we'll agree on three, three and, and a half stars. stars. Thank you very much for putting up with us. It was lovely. Yeah, well done. And keeping well done. me out of the canals. We came into this holiday with pretty, like, low expectations, I'd say. He's definitely exceeded our expectations. Yeah, by far. There's things that we, we never thought we'd do here. Mm. Like a the detox clinic. I think Indonesian mama's killed it with the You snacks. love Indonesian mama? I reckon we'd 100% recommend the detox. Like, we feel better, we look better. You know, even got spiritual, we ended up leaving healthier. So, overall, we give it, we give Bali four, four stars. Four stars. <laughs> we give our Bali holiday a four out of five stars. We just downrate it one star just because of the detox. I could soon pick a duck out. That bad boy there, that is dinner tonight. This is incredible. Like, genuinely, did you think that you'd be here? No. Ever? In Bali, in somebody's house, like, this is the authentic experience. People do, they think Bali is cheap and nasty, it's and it's not. not. It's elegant and stunning. So we give our Bali holiday five stars out of five. You can't fault it. Not those kids nice there. Oh, they're beautiful. Hello, Hi. how are you? To be invited in someone's home, I think that's very special, don't you reckon? Mm. I can absolutely see what all the talk about Bali is now. One of those places where you can have 20 different holidays. I could come back and definitely do the same holiday again, except for the detox. Me too. I would love to come back one day. That's why the friends are giving this holiday four and a half stars out of five. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.